Hi, my name is Brandon. Um, I live in northern Utah, a very conservative state. I grew up in a conservative household, um, and I've always had um, conservative ideologies. I, I, I do. I like the idea of of uh, small government. I th I feel like cutting taxes helped um, help small businesses. Uh, however, it was at such a cost, and I feel like <laughs> I feel like our forefathers are rolling in their graves right now because of the circus that 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 we're in right now. Um, I did not vote for Trump last election. I voted third party. Um, I couldn't. I could not just. In, I could not in good conscience vote for him, even though. Everyone in this area, anyway, was just saying, "Just vote for the party. You just vote for vote, vote for the party." And I just kept thinking, at the ex at the, at the expense of what? You're you're asking me to sacrifice my morals uh, for this man who is clearly not a moral man, clearly not a conservative man. It boggles my mind how there are such good people in the world that that like spout his lies as if they were truth or say things like he's just saying what we think and i'm like Ugh, i can't believe you thought that to begin with that's that's not a good argument so um i don't uh dislike joe biden in fact there are things about him that i like I, and i and i like kamala harris too i will be voting for them they they are they're a strong team. The The number one thing that has swayed me is was an interview with Joe Biden where they were trying to corner him on his stance on abortion. And they were like, why are you, what's, they were trying to, to corner him. And uh, because he is a Catholic and doesn't believe that abortion is good. Um, however, he, he, he is on a liberal ticket. Uh, and he said, look, I don't think it's right, but I'm not going to force it on somebody else. And if there's one thing that I've noticed over the last four years is that we, as a conservative base and as an American people have been forced to, to deal with this childish, selfish, immoral man's crazy antics and I'm just befuddled. I cannot believe that that there are good people who are following this guy, who who have any sense of a moral compass. Um, and so I am 100% behind um, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. I think they're gonna whatever their politics are gonna be. They're not gonna stuff it down our throats, and they're not gonna be an embarrassment to our com our country. Um, and I believe that with my whole heart. And I think you should too.